God bless Dwight Ball. And I genuinely mean that. Let's give credit where credit is due. The man has been given an absolute bag of shit that he doesn't really seem to have any idea what to do with, but he just keeps on trucking. Smile on his face, impeccable head of hair, and a positive attitude. It is inspiring. And his trip to New England this week is a perfect example. Dude slogs down there and goes through the motions of pretending that the governor of Rhode Island or whatever wants to buy electricity from Muskrat Falls. And of course they don't. And Dwight knows they don't. And the Americans know they don't. And there's a very good chance that the guys at Nalcor have known that they don't since they actually started putting this project together six years ago. But our noble premier goes down there and he pitches it anyway. This is a triumph of the Newfoundland spirit. What odds if the game is over before it even starts? You go on right out there and walk into that machine gun fire anyway. And Dwight gets that. And that's why he will never give up. He goes to New England and all these people are telling him, we're not going to buy your power, or having to run the lines through so many jurisdictions makes this economically prohibitive, or even, we literally cannot trust any of your cost projections, but he takes it all in stride. All these hateful blows just glance gracefully off that gorgeous chiseled chin of his. I mean, it's inevitable that eventually everything's going to come up Millhouse. The key is to just make sure that all of our future clients know that when the arse falls out of everything else and they're scrambling to come up with a desperate bargain bin stopgap, Newfoundland and Labrador will be there for them. This is a sales pitch that is a fine liberal tradition going all the way back to Smallwood. Newfoundland and Labrador has so much to bring to the table. We've barely exploited the big land, and with oil in the toilet, there's more than enough surplus labor to get the job done. Our democracy is so wildly dysfunctional that a shrewd businessman slash premier can do whatever needs to be done, as long as they've got the seats and the balls. And that's always a big plus for trade agreements, right? I mean, clients love doing business with states that don't respect themselves, because that's how we get them the best deals. And we've also got wind! My god, we have so much wind. Allegedly. Wind power is absolutely a thing that Nalcor could conceivably do. I mean, we don't have any now, and we don't really have any plans to do anything with wind power in the immediate future. But we could. Maybe. Especially if telling the Yanks that we might do something with it gets them to buy into the dumpster fire of a hydro project that we actually do already have on the go. And you know, I mean, that's it. Like, life gives you lemons and you make lemonade. And then you also pretend that you have a better drink back at your house and you try to trick people into coming over. I mean, look, the man is doing his best, but you really do get the feeling that Dwight's whispers of wind power, like so many other things, are a big load of hot air. I'm Drew Brown.